Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. I thought my page needed something fun and new and here I am. Oh, with a glass of wine. <laughs> yes, honey. Um, I am going to be calling this segment wine time. Like, I'm not going to necessarily be whining to you guys, but I am going to be like telling you guys stories and just things that have been going on in my life and like funny stories, bad stories, sad, sad stories, like all this type of stuff. So I am going to tell you guys stories while I sip my wine and yeah, let's see how this goes. Um, so recently my YouTube channel was disabled and it was taken down, all my videos were taken down and I couldn't get into my YouTube account at all. Like everything was completely shut down. And I had told you guys in like the comments below on my last video that I was going to California for two weeks. Well, I was going on vacation. I went to California for two weeks and I, the first week I was up there, I was able to answer you guys back on like a, uh, comments on my last on my why I'm back what brought me back to YouTube or what happened or I forgot what I named that video but um yeah my first video back I was able to comment to you guys um and just talk to you guys well I noticed that I couldn't sign into my YouTube account so I'm like oh my goodness what's going on and then I had a email that I had skipped over and didn't read and it was a copyright email and it was basically telling me that someone reported every single one of my videos for copyright on the songs on like the music in the background well come to find out it was my one and only baby daddy mm. so after I found out it was him who reported all my videos I was so upset because mind you I was in Cal California visiting his family and um yeah it was just crazy so after I found out it was him I talked to his mom about it I talked to his sister and okay a little bit of background behind me and my baby daddy um Whenever I had my youngest daughter, which is his daughter, um, he got cold feet in being a parent, which I'm not making excuses for him, but that's what happened. He got cold feet with being a parent and um, me and him weren't in the best place and then he had met somebody else, so like he didn't want to drag along that baggage, I'm guessing. I don't know. Oh God. But... Long story short, we don't talk at all. He doesn't want anything to do with me or my daughter um, because he's starting this new life. Well, I ended up going after him for child support because, I mean, hello, I didn't make this baby by myself. And I'm pretty sure a lot of mothers will stand behind me and a lot of mothers will probably say like that's the wrong thing to do I don't know but that's what I did I ended up filing for child support mainly because um I wanted them to issue a paternity test so maybe because he started pulling the like I'm not the dad card yada 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 honey we were engaged and we were like trying to be together forever he was with me at the doctor's when I took my IUD out like, I'm not just making this stuff up in my head. Like, this stuff really happened, and he's making me feel crazy. But I'm not. Anyways, moving on. He reported all the videos. Okay, so I was wondering, why would he do that? Why would it matter to him that, you know, all this, like, I still have his music on my videos, which isn't his music. We made the beats together, and he like we were engaged at the time that I was making videos yada 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 and he was all for it like he supported me 110% he like we made 
majority of the beats together because I wanted them girly and to fit the video and blah 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 and he he gave me the rights to put his like we didn't think that my YouTube page would like take off like this at all not even take off but like me to have like 10 followers 10 subscribers or even like 10 views on a video like he didn't we didn't think that nothing was gonna happen with this so I'm like, why would he do that? Like, what would make him do that? I haven't talked to him. Like, I literally have not talked to him since a couple a couple months after I had my daughter. And my daughter's going to be two next week. So, it just says a lot. Jumping back to the child support thing. I filed for child support when my daughter was born. No, like two months after my daughter was born. I just received my very first payment last week of child support. Yes, that's my very first payment of child support and she's going to be two years old. That's how long the process takes, honey. God, that was a stressful process. When I got back from my vacation, I got a phone call from the child support office and they told me that they served him papers and his garnishment paper and they had garnished his check. The day that he got those papers is like a couple days. It's like within that week is whenever he reported all of those videos. Like every single one of my videos he reported and I was just like really you're going to do this over child support? Like are you kidding me? But now it's okay because I have my page back but at the time I was freaking out I was bawling my eyes out I was because I just made my oh why I'm back I'm coming back blah 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 and then like everything gets ripped away from me you know like it just it sucked so bad um but then I got I ended up having to send emails to YouTube like trying to fight it and he was sending emails to YouTube like it was going back and forth, back and forth. Well, it all boiled down to if he was going to fight me in court with a lawyer. And I knew he, was go he wasn't going to do, do that because he wouldn't even fight me in court for child support. Like, So I knew he wasn't going to do that. So then that's why I knew I was going to get my page back. I, it was just a matter of time. It was just the waiting game. But... For that mother to sit there and do that, I was so pissed. So, yes, my baby daddy ripped down my YouTube page basically. He was being super petty. His mom, whenever I was up there and I started freaking out and. I was crying to her and then I'd be pissed off one second, crying the next, laughing about it one time. Like, it was, I was so bipolar about this. It, was, it wasn't funny at all. But when I told his mom, his mom started getting pissed off too. She's like, why would he do something like that? And all this stuff. So she called him. And when she called him, he lied to her and was like, Mom, no, I would never do that, blah, 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 blah. He was like, I would never, ever do that. He's like, please tell Monique I would never do that. And um, it wasn't me. So she called and she's like, no, I really believe him. Like, I really believe what he's saying and all this stuff. And I'm like, okay, well, maybe it was just, like, his girlfriend who did it. Like, you know, maybe it was just her and I don't know. There's nothing I can do about it. Well, I went and I looked at the <laughs> I went and I looked at the email that was sent to me about the copyright claims on all of my videos and they had all of his information on it like it was clear as day that it was him it was nobody else so I took it into my own hands and I messaged him well I wrote him on email I wrote him an email on my Gmail account and he was like let's pull this shit up 
He said, unfortunately, I do not want my name or anything to do with me to be linked to you. But good lord. When this happened, I'm usually the person to let stuff go and don't, like, I never fight back. Um, but then I was like, fuck that. I'm going to fight back and I deserve my channel. I worked really hard and I did everything for my YouTube channel. So that's whenever I started like fighting back and emailing YouTube and whoever I can email to get my page back up. And then here I am. I got my page back up. It's truly my first time ever really fighting for something. Like I said, I don't really fight for things, but like I just take it as a loss and keep on moving. But I mean, here I am. And, but yeah, that's why my page was down for like a little over a month. It was down, but here it is. It's back. I know I got to do like copyright school or something like that on YouTube, but obviously if this video is up and you guys are watching it, I did it and completed it and everything is fine so yeah thank you guys so much for watching wine time with me um, if you guys have any baby daddy stories or people that are just rude and hateful leave me comments in the description bar and tell me your stories because I want to hear them. thank you guys so much for watching I will see you guys next week with wine time Was that floating in my cup? Oh. There's a fly! <gasps> yes, baby.